morning, Suzuki community. It's Myron at Zooks Off-Road. Uh, we've been absent for a little bit. We appreciate that uh, you have been watching our channel. I'd always like to ask you to subscribe to our channel. And today what we're talking about is how to find out if you got a bad head gasket. I'm going to show you how to do this with air. So warning, warning, warning. Putting air in this motor is going to move the car. So if your foot is under the front tire, and that car moves six inches because you put air in the cylinder and you run over your foot, please let us know and we'll have a good laugh on your account. So what we're doing right now is we are putting the engine up to cylinder number one. How do I know that cylinder number one is up to the top and ready to pop? Well, it's going to have loose intake rocker. It's going to have loose exhaust rocker. The only time that the valves are closed when the rockers are open, you know, loose, is because it's ready to get a spark. We want it in that condition. So the valves are closed, the piston is up. We're going to remove the spark plug. We're going to remove the radiator cap. We're going to take pretty much any compression tester has this ability. If you don't have a compression tester, shame on you because we're Suzuki people. We do it ourselves. We fix our own cars. Anyways, the reason why this connection is here is so that you can check your head gasket. You see how I pop that apart? That is an air connection. Very common for putting on to an air compressor. So we're going to put that gauge where it won't get hurt. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and screw this into where I just removed the spark plug. And the next thing we're going to do is rotate the motor let me get that in there and get that o-ring sealed get that nice and tight All right. next thing we're going to do is we're going to rotate the motor and I'm going to bring this up to where it's just coming up to cylinder number one to fire and I'm just waiting for that intake rocker to close okay it's loose it's loose we're ready to check what am I checking for I want to find out if my head gasket is blown into the water system. Now, I've removed the radiator cap. I have my air chuck ready to go. What I do not want to see is I don't want to see bubbles coming out of the radiator. I've done this test for people before, and I've seen this shoot up and I get all drenched in coolant. All right, let's see if we can get that guy. have no bubbles but you notice how I didn't take the tool off because I forgot I actually rotated the motor but I have the emergency brake on and I have that rear tire block so that it didn't run over my foot which is in front of the tire so what I have here is no leak on cylinder number one had I shot out coolant I would have to replace this head gasket now me personally I don't like replacing head gaskets this way take the head off send it out to the shop, get it all machined, and then put it on a warped block. If I'm going to do a head gasket, I'm going to clean it up the surface as best as I can. I might lap the valves, depending on what they look like, but I'm not going to have that head milled. Because if you do that, you're going to have a high rate of failure. Now I'm going to just repeat this process. I'm going to rotate the engine, until I come up on the next firing cylinder, which is three. You should know your firing order. One, three, four, two. And then on number three would be the next one I check. So I would take the spark plug out. I would rotate the engine until I have both rockers loose. I would put the air into there. And I would see if I have any bubbles. But you won't have bubbles if you have a bad head gasket. You're going to have a big volcano of water. Thank you very much for watching our videos. Don't forget to subscribe. See you uh, with some new videos coming up. Got some exciting news. Thank you very much. Be safe. Go wheeling. Have fun. And thank you for watching the videos at Zooks Off-Road. Bye-bye.